Well, money is money, and in the end, the Knicks did not have enough to offer Isaiah Hartenstein or to keep him in the orange and the blue. The Knicks were in the luxury tax and had no cap space, and the only way that they could offer Hartenstein was the max under his early bird rights, which was four years, $72 million. He signed with Oak City, three years, 87 mil. Hartenstein wanted to stay with New York, but money's money. His career earnings sit at $22.65 million. The Thunder will now pay him on average $29 million per season. You can't blame him. He's coming off a fantastic season, stepping in for the often injured Mitchell Robinson. Started 49 games, shot nearly 65% from the floor, 70% from the free throw, free throw line, averaged eight points, eight boards, two dimes per game. Where he really made his money was in the playoffs, where his feel for the game shined through and showed remarkable toughness and grit as well. He is a loss. The Knicks did all they could to keep him, but it does not and cannot change the expectations of the Knicks moving forward with Brunson, Hart, DiVincenzo, Bridges, Ananobi, Randall, and Robinson. For Hardenstein, he turned a two-year, $16 million deal with New York into an opportunity to prove his worth to the rest of the NBA. It was a great signing by the Knicks, and I, Hart, took advantage of his opportunity now the big question for the Knicks is they need Mitchell Robinson to stay healthy when he does he's productive defensively and a great rebounder but he's missed 72 games last two regular seasons combined Hartenstein will be missed but I like most Knicks fans will wish him well thank him for two great years he got paid and moves from a contending team in the east to a championship caliber team out west and he got paid until next time New York I'm Mark Malusis.